This serves as a recap of No One Will Save You, a science fiction horror film by Brian Duffield. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share, subscribe to our channel, and leave your feedback in the comments section below. Brian is a seamstress who lives alone in her childhood home in a forest on the outskirts of a small town. Mourning the loss of both her best friend, Maud, and her mother, Sarah, Brynn copes by constructing a model town in her living room. She leads a solitary existence and is shunned by the local townspeople. One night, she awakens to discover that a humanoid alien has broken into her home. The alien uses telekinesis to subdue her, but she accidentally kills it in self-defense with the broken fragment of a model bell tower. Finding that her car and all of her electrical devices have been rendered useless since the alien intrusion, Bryn cycles into town, where she uncovers evidence of alien attacks on the neighbors. The town appears unaffected as she makes her way to the local police station, where she unexpectedly encounters Maud's parents, who happen to be the chief of police and his wife. Maud's embittered mother spits in Bryn's face. Bryn flees the town on a bus, but several passengers attempt to restrain her and are revealed to be controlled by alien parasites placed in their throats. She escapes and discovers that many of the townspeople now appear to be under the parasite's control. Bryn returns home and fortifies her house. That evening, a tractor beam from a flying saucer carries the alien's corpse out of her house. And she is forced to fend off two more alien intruders. She impales the smaller one with a broken mob handle and immolates the bigger one when its legs become entangled in her core and she ignites the gas tank. After she runs back into her house, another alien restrains her and places a parasite in her mouth, seemingly being forced to do so against its will. Bryn experiences an intense hallucination in which her life is back to normal and Maud is still alive. She apologizes to Maud before breaking free of the hallucination and pulling the parasite from her mouth. Finding herself lying in a field. A flying saucer arrives and transforms the parasite into a doppelganger of Bryn, which pursues the real Bryn into the woods. The doppelganger catches Bryn and stabs her, but Bryn kills it with a box cutter and escapes to a deserted road. She encounters a gigantic alien before being sucked into a flying saucer, where she is psychically probed by a group of aliens, revealing the event that turned the town against her. During an argument she had with Maud when both were children, Maud knocked Bryn to the ground and Bryn struck Maud with a rock, killing her. The aliens converse with one another and appear to agree on a course of action. They return Bryn to the deserted road, unharmed and free of their influence. Bryn rebuilds her home and discovers that the other residents remain under the control of the parasites. They now treat her kindly and since she has finally overcome her trauma, she can live a normal life. In the sky, Numerous flying saucers are seen stretching off into the horizon, 